Today, I am thrilled to share with you the newest iPhone. The innovations in iPhone 11 are truly remarkable. And that starts with the design. iPhone 11 has a beautiful anodized aluminum and glass design. And that glass, it's the toughest ever in a smartphone, on the front and back. iPhone 11 comes in six new colors with an all new purple, white, yellow, green, black, and product red. It has a 6.1 inch liquid retina display with true tone, wide color, tap to wake and haptic touch in even more places with iOS 13, like contextual menus. Now, videos are wonderful to watch on this display. And now we have spatial audio, which provides an immersive theater-like experience by creating a sound field around you using an Apple Design Virtualizer. And we support Dolby Atmos for an incredible sound experience. Now let's talk about camera. iPhone is the world's most popular camera and it gets even better with iPhone 11. We have an amazing dual camera system with an all new wide camera with a new sensor with 100% focus pixels for faster autofocus, three times faster in low light. And we have a new ultra wide camera with a 120 degree field of view. This will let you capture way more in your photos and videos. Because now you can take a wide camera shot like this, but switch to the ultra wide to reveal the scale. <laughs> yes. You can now see the beautiful framing by Mother Nature, but the details still are there in the sky, the rocks, and the sand. This is doing an optical zoom out 2x, so you can capture way more without moving. So now, when you're taking a wide camera shot, you'll see our new immersive camera interface that lets you see outside the frame, hinting at a bigger shot. Then you can simply tap to switch to the ultra-wide, revealing more of your scene. You can use an angle like this to take a heroic and dynamic shot, because the ultra-wide can elongate your subject and keep all these details sharp from her red dress all the way to her face. Now, these are some examples of great ultra-wide photos. We've also updated our image pipeline, which processes over a trillion operations per photo. And it's got our image signal processor, and it has our neural engine for machine learning. And now we've added semantic rendering. This allows us to more intelligently detect subjects and relight them with detail so they look even better. And people love taking portraits on iPhone 11. And iPhone 11 has this wide angle camera, so you can take these beautiful wide shots of portraits for people. But now with two cameras, we have stereoscopic depth. So now you can also take portraits of your favorite pets. <laughs> we have a new portrait lighting effect, and that's high key mono. You can take a stunning studio quality portrait like this from a pretty ordinary background. All right. Let's talk about night mode. This is for those very low light environments, like outdoors at night or inside a dimly lit restaurant. And night mode comes on automatically when it's dark enough to brighten photos and reduce noise. Here's an image with night mode turned off. Here it is with night mode turned on. When taking video, you can easily tap to switch to the ultra-wide camera to capture even more in your scene. You can also use the zoom wheel to just transition easily between the two cameras. <laughs> now we make it great to capture in all the formats you love because we support 4K resolution up to 60 frames per second, slow-mo, time-lapse, cinematic video stabilization, and now extended dynamic range at 4K up to 60 frames per second. And this is across both cameras, which is pretty cool. We also wanted to make it easier for you to take a quick video with quick take. So now when you're taking photos and you decide you want to take a quick video, simply tap and hold the shutter button to record a video. 
can do that without changing frames. <laughs> We've also updated our front true depth camera to a wider 12 megapixel sensor. So now you can still take your seven megapixel selfies as you normally would, but simply rotate to landscape to capture even more people using that wider sensor. Also on the front camera, we've added 4K video with extended dynamic range up to 30 frames per second. And you can also capture on the front at 4K 60 as well. Now we've also added slow motion video to the front camera for the first time. This is the first phone that we've called Pro. And for us, that means it's a device that pros can count on to get their work done. But it's also a product for all of us who want simply the best product made, even if we're not a pro. So let's talk all about it. We'll start with this incredible, stunning new Pro design. This is the most advanced and detailed iPhone we've made yet. It's made of a surgical grade stainless steel. The back is a single piece of machine glass with an optical PVD coating. It is a beautiful new matte textured finish that looks great and feels awesome in your hand. iPhone 11 Pro comes in some gorgeous new finishes. This is an all new midnight green. is a very pro space gray, a beautiful silver, and a new gold. These are incredible. All right, let's talk about this pro display. It comes in two sizes, 5.8 inches and 6.5 inches. They have the highest pixel density of any display Apple makes. Our Super Retina display is the most advanced we've ever built into an iPhone. It's a new OLED panel that has 2 million to 1 contrast ratio. P3, wide color, true tone, haptic touch, and now a much brighter up to 1,200 nits. That's incredibly bright while also being 15% more energy efficient. Well, thank you, Sri. So what has our team done to help the battery keep up with this incredible level of pro performance? Well, we are so excited to tell you that with iPhone 11 Pro, you now get up to four hours longer in your day. And with iPhone 11 Pro Max, up to five hours longer in your day. We're also including our fast charge 18 watt adapter in the box so you can charge them all faster too. So, I know, I know what you're waiting for, I am too. Let's talk about the cameras. <laughs> no question, my favorite part about iPhone. This is the first iPhone that we've had, a camera system that we call Pro. And it's really worthy of this name. So what does it have? First, it has a new wide camera that has a fast f1.8 aperture and focus pixels that cover 100% of the sensor. It is a new telephoto camera with a larger f2.0 aperture. It lets in 40% more light and has a new ultra-wide camera with a super-wide 120-degree field of view and a tremendous range of focus across the entire image. Now, all these work together with the A13 Bionic chip and its new generation image signal processor, and that enables a whole new level of photography, pro photography. And triple camera system, A13 Bionic, longer battery life, faster charging, new designs, there's also faster cellular, better water resistance, stronger glass, and so much more. We think this is the most exciting iPhone we've made yet. iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro are our most advanced phones. I think everyone's going to want to show them off. And some people like to protect them with cases. So we have a new line of cases for them as well, including clear cases for all three models. So you can show off your beautiful new finishes. So iPhone 11 Pro will start at $999, and iPhone 11 Pro Max at just $100 more at $1099. You can pre-order all of them starting this Friday at a new time, 5 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, so if you can get a few more hours of sleep and then get in line to pre-order. They'll all start shipping on September 20th. So this is our lineup of three new iPhones starting at $699, $99, and $1099.
In addition to that, we're going to keep iPhone XR in the line, starting at just $599, and iPhone 8 at $449. So there's a lot of great options for people at all different price points. So that is our news today on iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro.